Hello, it's Mr O'Mara here. This is episode number two, and I just want to teach you some basic formatting tricks and just give you just the, the general introduction. What we're looking at here is a sheet, which is part of a workbook. A workbook is actually what your, um, what your Excel document saves, and it is made up of a number of sheets. And you can think of these as sheets of paper, albeit very big ones. Here you have the columns, and the columns are A, B, C, D. And if we scroll all the way across, they actually go to double A, double B. There we go. Actually, they don't. They go A, B, A, C, A, D. So they're basically infinite. So you can store a great deal of information there. And your rows, which are the ones that go down the page, are numbered from 1 through to, I don't know, I've never tested it. I expect quite a lot. And what I've done is I've put in some basic information that I'm going to work with you here just to keep it at a scale we can understand. So first things first. Oh, and also this first row is sometimes called a header. You don't have to have a header, but it's useful for you to keep track of things and it's also useful for when we get to making graphs and so forth. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first column and this thing here is where I can change the width of it. Now, I could have actually changed the width of it without selecting it, but I want to show you a good trick. If I select it and then click it, it will make it as wide as it needs to be. So now if I select all of those and click on the end, it's made them all as wide as they need to be. And that's very useful for seeing your data. Sometimes, as in column E here, it means we've got a very wide column because we've got a label which is very wide. But honestly, that doesn't matter. Mostly we're talking about data here. So we can hold words and we can hold numbers. And some of these numbers are real numbers, as in you can do mathematical things with them. And some of them are just numbers which are the, da uh, the name of a year. So, you know, for instance, it would be nonsense to work out what the average year a Star Wars movie was made was, or what the average order was. Because these, these numbers really just represent one is the first one to be made. But it's not actually a maths number. And we can talk about that in person if you want. So just before we go, I just want to show you one thing that's really, really handy. I'm bringing this up. Oh, I actually forgot. I'm going to select my table. I'm going to go up to the home thing, and I'm going to use format as a table. And you probably can't see it, unfortunately, but I've got a whole lot of choices here. And I'm just going to use one that you can see. It's asking, my table has headers. Yes, my table does. So there we go. It is easier to read here. And when you do that yourself, you'll see you've got stacks and stacks of choices in lots of colours, and that's a very way of keep, a very good way of keeping your ducks in a row. So we've formatted it. We can see the tables. I'll see you in a minute for lesson number three.